Hi everyone, good afternoon. Uh, so it's been a busy morning. I just came out into the sunroom um, and it's really hot out. And so I put my hat on, but I haven't worn it in a really long time. So anyway, um, you have to protect your hair from the sun. Because I don't know if you guys can see, but my hair is already so faded. But I have to say that I haven't really been following the rules for fashion color. I've been out in the sun. I've been in the hot tub. I have done all kinds of things. So um, that is why my hair is fading so quickly. But this morning I've been inside most of the day and although we don't have air conditioning, our house is set up really well. So it's quite cold and we open the windows at night and close them during the day. So what have I managed to accomplish today? Well, I'm glad you asked. I know you didn't. Anyways, um, so I got up this morning and we've been having this thing um, happen where there's a raccoon, a giant raccoon, which you know, I live in the country, so it's not that unheard of. But it comes in our yard every single day and it's huge. So um, I did call to see if there's any services available to maybe put it in a safer spot or anyway, there isn't. They basically said get a, um, a trap and relocate it, but I'm not gonna do that because it's not digging into my house yet and it may have babies somewhere. So I don't want to do that. I was just curious to find out the answer. So I did my meditation. I um, talked to a few people on the phone just about, um, you know, all this stuff. There's some crazy stuff happening. Obviously, you all know. Um, so some salons aren't opening ever again. Some salons don't know when we're going to open. Some salons aren't following the rules. Um, Gatineau salons or, or Quebec salons are able to open. So there's lots and lots of things going on. So I will not be opening until we are allowed to open. Um, first of all, I believe that um, I made the right decision to close up early before mandated. And um, I'm not going to sacrifice the integrity of our brand and our clients which I call guests, AKA my BFFs. So um, I do love and respect, you know, everybody I get to see. So <clears throat> I will not be opening sooner, just so you all know, but we don't know the date. I mean, now it's looking mid June. So I am prepared. We have always had uh, impeccable standards for cleaning. Um, the only difference that we really have to do is get you to wash or disinfect. All these kinds of things. So, I mean, I got you covered. Um, I have non-latex tape to tape on your masks if the strings are getting in the way. Um, you know, everything touchless hand sanitizer dispensers, touchless soap dispensers, plexiglass, you name it, we have it. And anyways, it uh, worked out for the best for us because we kind of downsized our team. So we have three stylists and more than 1400 square feet. So we're good, guys, we're good. I've managed to somehow keep us afloat financially um, so we're fine. It's just a matter of when we can safely open, whether it's safe or not, everybody has their difference op in opinions. I'm a business owner, so liability says that I cannot open until we are allowed to. Not because I don't love you all. 
um, not because I don't miss doing hair. I do. Don't get me wrong. Being home has been um, incredibly, I don't know what you call it. Like I have grown massively sitting, you know, with my thoughts and creating these Facebook lives and you guys empowering me in um, a really magical way because most of these conversations aren't really about hair. So um, loving, you know, the conversations that I'm having with you, that really makes me feel awesome because I truly, truly do wake up every morning and try to be a better person than I was the, the day before. I know, you know, some people are probably rolling their eyes. You know, it's, it's pretty sickening how um, I'm really, truly just want to be the best person possible. I, you know, no need to talk, you know, about anything that isn't growth or inspiring. Um, maybe there is, but that's not on social media from me, my opinion. So anyways, um, we already have a cape for every possible client that could have come in there on the days that we were open before COVID-19, which I mean, uh, myself, I would see like four people staggered all back to back. So we, we have it all covered. I feel great. We finally got our shipments in of all that stuff. Um, really, I'm going to go do another huge clean at the salon. Um, in the next couple of weeks and just rearrange the desk and stuff. Um, no big deal. We're all ready to go back to work. Um, the team is excited. We've been practicing lots of things, getting certificates. And of course I'm laminating them all. So, um, cause I'm a laminating queen and I like little tabs on everything and number systems and yeah. I really do like that. I don't always have the time to do it, but um, yeah, doing all that. So looking at new, all kinds of new things. So um, anyway, I just thought I'd pop on here and say, I love you all, um, you know, ups and downs. Today's, a, a, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, although my baby Bailey is sick, so she's had some stomach issues for the last few days. And I obviously went to the extreme and uh, was going to take her into Emerge and all this stuff. But anyway, um, they, the Emerge, I called them and they told me to just go to my regular vet. So today is the day. We will be at the vet at 2 o'clock hoping she doesn't, uh, she can be, you know, feeling better soon. I love her to pieces. Most of you know who my dog is. She used to come into the salon every day. So that's another thing that will change for now. Bailey will not be in the salon with me every day. Uh, she won't be in there at all, actually, um, until things change and that's okay. Things are going to change. We're going to adapt. And you know what? If you can't hear me because I'm wearing a mask, any of you that knows me, I will find a way to communicate. We can have dance parties. Um, I am going to be doing uh, consultations on live, on video, prior to your appointment. Okay, so um, when we do set up your appointment, that will all be arranged and organized. And yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying this day. It's 32 degrees here. My pool is 75 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's funny how we organize things like that, right? Cause 32 is Celsius. And then all of a sudden I'm talking in Fahrenheit. I do not know the equivalent to switch them back to. So, 75 is 75 Fahrenheit and that somehow makes sense to me. 
and Celsius. I don't, I don't know. It's just weird. Anyway, so certain things I think in Fahrenheit and certain things I think in Celsius. Kind of strange. Anyway, that was an added bonus for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> You're welcome. Anyways, have a great day, everyone. Aw, oh, thanks, Yad. We do got this. You got this too, girl. Love your modeling shots with your Jeep. We also have a Jeep and uh, they're amazing. And so are you, Ziad, and I love you. And there's a ton of people on here that I really do love. Oh, Dan, yo, Dan, I call you Dan. Um, Michelle, who is on my team, I can't wait to see you too. We'll have to chat maybe tomorrow after Bailey's appointment. But um, yeah, so it's been a very busy day. I've had four meetings already. And now off to the vet. I'm hoping that Scott is going to let us stop at the drive through Tim Hortons. I don't know. Um, I can't give you an answer of what my favorite coffee is. I'm not a connoisseur. I just really like coffee. Um, but Tim Hortons in Wakefield is doing drive through So I have not had a made coffee, like a made for me coffee since all of this happened. I'm not a big buy a coffee every single day, but I do probably once a week. And so I'm crossing my fingers that he'll let us stop so we can have a Tim Hortons coffee. So, um, it's the little thing. Anyways, I love you so much. Have a great day.